Um, so on number 17, what they're asking us to do is the exact same problem, right? You have to convert that one to a mixed number, but then you have a whole number. So what I want to do is just kind of do a quick little reminder video of, you know, how do you convert a mixed number, or I'm sorry, a whole number to a fraction? Because we're going to convert the mixed number to a fraction. So how do I convert a whole number? Anytime you have a whole number and you want to convert it to a fraction, just put it over 1. All right? Now, it's very important for us to understand also, where do, does that negative sign stay up there? Well, when we're adding and subtracting fractions with common denominators, then yeah, we usually like to keep it in the numerator. But it doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen, where exactly that negative sign is, right? I always, here's an example. You can see negative 1 divided by 1, that's going to equal negative 1. 1 divided by negative 1 equals negative 1. Negative 1 divided by 1 is still equal to negative 1. All right? So it doesn't matter where you guys place that negative sign, but just remember to take a whole number to rewrite it as a fraction, just place it over 1, above 1. And then you'd have two fractions that you have to get common denominators. But I can, do you want me to do a problem like common denominator one? Or I can do that on another problem if somebody wants. 